Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we are going to be cutting off the tabs and brackets and everything that's hanging below the frame on Samantha. B. Reynolds was kind enough to come over and uh, use his plasma cutter because I don't have one. And we're going to do make some quick work of cutting all these things out. Make sure to go follow B. Reynolds right here because he's got a sweet Tacoma and you're going to love it. So go check that out. Now we're going to get to some cutting. So how do plasma cutters actually work? They work by sending an electronic arc through a gas that is passed through a constricted opening. A gas can be some sort of shop air, nitrogen, argon, or oxygen. This then elevates the temperature of the gas to a point where it enters the fourth stage of matter, plasma. The next step now is to go through the frame and clean up everywhere that was plasma cutted with some sort of grinder disc, flapper wheel, or something like that. It was a massive, massive help to have B. Reynolds come with his plasma cutter and cut these brackets off, but I still have to do some grinding to clean this frame up just a little bit more. I do have some frame supports that are going to go on here, so I might just be grinding away like all day. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Got to put my PPE on and let's uh, get to grinding. You know. So you see how I'm grinding right here and on the other side and on this level, but between the where the weld was is not getting hit uh, that's because of the flapper disc is soft it's uh you know it'll bend down and warp and where the high section is it'll actually push down on either side while you're pushing down along that ridge and so a trick that hustle nuts uh told me was to use a cutoff wheel now a cutoff wheel is rigid and it won't bend and it's not doesn't have like the sandpaper layers on there so when you are going across this ridge, it's only going to hit that ridge and it's not going to hit the sides. You'll know when you get low enough because then you'll actually start uh, cutting into the metal that's on the outsides right next to where the weld is. So I always usually grind with the flapper disc to get it pretty dang close because it's a little bit more aggressive. And then I um, use a flapper wheel to get it um, really fine. So there you go, all nice and smooth and flat. I'm super happy with that. And you can see how that thin disc definitely helps out right there in that last little section. All right, so now what we gotta do is we just gotta continue to cut all the way around this entire frame uh, or just clean it up a little bit. So roll some more time lapse. side is completely done this is driver side both uh, inner top and outer and bottom are all smooth uh, I did a demo on the other side uh, on the top already so now I've got to do those three more sides over there
So I've got one more thing that I need to attend to on the frame. That's because we nicked it a few times with that plasma cutter and we cut in some little grooves. Those grooves aren't that big of a deal, but what they could cause is the weak spot of a frame and cracking in the future. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually gonna be taking my welder and filling those holes in and then taking the grinder and then grinding everything nice and smooth and back to the way it's supposed to look. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna finish up this frame and then we're gonna be uh, moving on to the next step, which is actually quite different than what I had anticipated. Um, and you won't see that until the next video. All right, let's get some slow-mo rolling and uh, get to welding. This one here was by far the worst. It like that hole up top there actually goes into the frame and there's a few cuts right back in that area. So this one I'm gonna have to be careful to weld on. bigger holes now. I'll probably have to cut some metal and fill those in, but I'll probably consult with Hussman to see if he's got a better idea. Uh, he is uh, the better fabricator, that's for sure. Well, let's keep grinding. Move our way up the frame. So I was grinding along and um, I found that there was a few spots that I missed or I need to put just more weld into the, some of those locations. So I'm going to have to go back and do this another time and I might go back and do it another one if I just miss more. I want to get this frame as spot on as possible. Um, but I'm not going to take you along on that journey. You already saw how I've kind of been doing it. Now I do have the big holes in the back that I'm leaving for now. The ones that I, whenever I was welding them, they're just burning and getting bigger and bigger. And I'm gonna talk to Hussman and figure out how to go about doing that. If I should just weld a piece of metal over it, plug it, or if there's a way to good um, way to fill that. I'm not sure. And if any of you guys out there have any suggestions for me, I'm all ears. I'm really stepping out of my comfort zone in doing this project and I'm not like the best fabricator in the world, but I am definitely eager to try and learn. And I hope that you guys out there are gonna help me learn as well. Please give me tips and tricks that you guys know. If you see me doing something wrong, please be a positive reinforcement and uh, help me grow and become a better fabricator. Um, I would really appreciate that. So uh, that's, I'm gonna end this episode here. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hammer down on that subscribe button. And like always, my friends, don't forget, keep growling.